Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another tutorial. So just to fill you in, I am still ill. I have still got this cold, but it is Halloween season and I do want to get really creative and I really do want to throw out loads of Halloween looks for you guys. So it's not going to stop me. So I'm really sorry that I still sound nasally and that I still don't look myself. But yeah, moving on from that today, I am going to be showing you how I got this mermaid look. Now, a few years ago on my channel, I did like do a mermaid look and it was just like one of them average mermaid ones where you just do the scales. Now, them looks are really, really pretty, but this time I wanted to do a mermaid look that was still a little bit gory and still involved blood. And I'm really happy the way it come out. So if you want to see how I got this gory mermaid look, then please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page. And also, guys, I want to know what Halloween looks you want to see on my channel next and what other makeup looks you want to see on my channel. Just because this year I have like loads of things running from my head what I want to do, but I'm just not entirely sure what looks you want to see. So make sure you comment down below on this video and just tell me what Halloween looks and what makeup looks you want to see. But yeah, without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling and let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is prime our eyes. I'm just using the Super Size Revolution Concealer in the shade C6 and then I'm just going to blend all that out. Then picking up the self palette from Makeup Revolution, I'm going to go in with the second lightest shade in her palette and just start setting my lids just to prep them for the eyeshadow. Then going in with the Juvia's Place palette, I'm going to go in with this mint green shade and I'm going to blend, not blend sorry, I'm going to pull this colour up quite a lot just because I do want the eyes to be very bright and to stand out. So I'm going to be playing quite a lot of this shade but also blending it out as I go. Then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and take a little bit more of that mint green and just start blending it out nicely towards my brow bone. Then going in with the mint chocolate palette from I Heart Makeup, I'm going to be taking this very dark green and just apply this on our lids and then up towards the crease area and then once I've applied it I'm going to be blending it into my crease. Dipping back into the Juvia's Place palette, I'm going to take the green and the blue um, pressed pigment shimmer colours and these are what make the eyes like really, really stand out. I was just going to leave them plain but then I wasn't too impressed the way it turned out so I just applied these glitters over the top and glitter always solves everything and makes everything look okay. So I'm happy, I'm actually glad that I applied them because I just loved the eyes once I'd done that. And then I'm just going to line my upper lash line using the Maybelline Liquid Liner. Now I'm just going to take a Rimmel Nude Eyeliner and just start sketching out where I actually want my um, fake open skin to be. And then I'm just going to take some cotton wool bud, split that in half and then take my liquid latex from Mayron and just start going over that eyeliner that we applied just. Once I've done that, I'm then going to pick up my cotton wool and then just apply this right over to the latex. Now, I did mine a little bit too thin, in, I mean too thick in some areas, so just make sure you don't do it too thick because it will be a little bit harder to work with later on, but it still worked fine for me. 
Then I'm going to take the liquid latex again and then start moulding the cotton wool to my face. You want to make sure the outer part is moulded and flat to your skin. We are going to make sure the top part is very high and standing off your skin. This is what's going to give the illusion that you've actually cut your face open and then your scales are showing through. But yeah, once I've applied it all around the outside and it's really smooth to my skin, I'm just going to go over the rest of the cotton wool in liquid latex and then just wait for it to dry. I'm then going to go in with some foundation. I think this was the Born This Way Too Faced foundation in the shade Porcelain. And then I'm just going to apply this everywhere and also over the um, cotton wool we just applied and then blend it out with the Damp Beauty Blender. Once I've done that, I'm then going to go back in with that super size concealer from Makeup Revolution in shade C6 and just highlight and conceal the areas of my face like I usually would. Then I'm going to set under my eyes and the rest of my face using the Fit Me Maybelline Press Powder in the shade 120 Ivory I believe it's in. Dipping back into the self palette I'm going to take this dark, well medium to dark and bright pink shade and just start contouring my face usually where I would contour. Now I didn't really know what shades to use like around the perimeter of my face so I did use a mixture of colours and because the eyes were green I went back into the Juvia's Place palette and picked up that mint green and just started blending it in towards the pink as well. And then I thought the contour wasn't deep enough for me so I then went back into that palette and mixed the pink and the purple together and just started contouring a little bit more and just to chisel out them cheekbones a little bit more and I was happy the way it finally turned out with all these colours. I'm then going to pick up that purple colour and just start blending that around the wound and on top of the wound just to make it look a little bit more realistic and just so we can start shading it. I'm then going to go back to the eyes and pick up the dark green colour we use out of Eye Heart Makeup Palette and just do a little bit of definition underneath there. I'm then taking the same colour in the middle of our wound and I'm just going to start applying that there just so this looks like it is um, our scales and our natural mermaid skin is showing through the wound. Then to create the scales I've took my Snazaru Water Active activated black paint and I'm just going to start drawing on the scales. The easiest way to describe this is basically just doing loads of upside down use on your face. Now to bring this wound a little bit more to life I'm going to keep dipping into different shades so I'm going to take this like muddy red colour and I'm going to start applying this around the wound and on the wound and also on my skin just so it looks like our skin is bruised and irritated. Then dipping into these two different shades of browns again I'm going to do the exact same thing as we just did. Then I'm going to pick into the purple uh, out of the Juvia's Place palette and this is going to act as still a bruise shade and again just going all around the perimeter of the wound and on my face. Then I'm just going to take the water activated black paint again and then go around the perimeter of our scales inside the wound just so it makes the wound look a lot more 3D on our face and a lot more real. Then going in with the Snazaru uh, Clotted Blood I'm going to start doing this also in the inside of the wounds. Now you don't want this to be too messy at the moment when you're doing it inside the wound because that's where like it's all going to be clotted and things like that and then I was going to be taking a cotton wool bud and then also a brush and just patting this blood around the wound just to make it look a lot more realistic. I'm then going to be taking some Snazaru blue gels glitter gel sorry and this is going to go on the top of the scales just to add a reflectant and also just to glam up them scales a little bit. 
Then taking even more clotted blood. I think I just got this from a shop like around the corner from me. And literally I had it since last year and it's so, so good. This is my favourite blood to be honest because it's just really so, it's like really, really thick. And I think it makes a wound on your face look a lot more realistic than other bloods do. And then I did put the blood around my wound, but I think my camera just literally forgot to uh, record it. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I'm just going to apply some pink liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then just apply some highlighter from the self palette from Makeup Revolution. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this second Halloween makeup tutorial. Let me know what else you want to see on my channel in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my Instagram page. And also, don't forget to give this tutorial a big thumbs up. But hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.